Welcome back video game design students. In this video we're going to be creating our rudder. Uh, so we're going to create a new polygon primitive and it's going to be a cube. Uh, let's name it rudder over in the channel box. And then uh, move it over on top of uh, the rudder in the image. And go ahead and zoom in on it. Uh, we need to scale this down uh, so that it matches the image. Uh, you can do that with, uh, with the scale tool. And make sure you fit the height and the width of the image there. Uh, and then uh, either in the top view, perspective view, uh, even the front view, uh, make sure that it is very, very thin, like a real rudder. So something like that. And then we can go back to the side view. And then under Mesh Tools, we're going to use the Insert Edge Loop tool. I love this thing. I use it all the time. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to click on, uh, on an edge, and you can click and drag. Uh, so we're going to click on one of those vertical edges and we're going to insert an edge loop there that cuts it all the way around. Uh, so add one on each of those points uh, on the rudder and then we're going to come back and add another loop uh, for each of the valleys. So in between each one of those. Then we're going to switch to vertex mode. And we need to get our move tool. And we're going to select each of these holding shift and make sure that you're dragging a marquee. Drag, uh, select each of the valleys and drag them in uh, so that we actually get uh, that kind of scalloped look uh, for the rudder. Uh, then we're going to go back uh, to our insert edge loop tool and we're going to make a vertical cut uh, there along the back. Switch back to vertex mode and your move tool and we're going to move these corners uh, so that they, uh, so that it's curved, just like the drawing is, and then you can switch back to object mode and save your scene. Uh, I'm just rotating around so you can see our final product. So make sure you save your scene and come back next time. 